सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल एज प्रोमिस्ड इन दर्लियर वीडियो वे विल बी डिस्कसिंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मास ट्रांसफर ऑपरेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ब्रीफली कवर इवेपोरेशन ड्राइंग डिस्टिलेशन एब्जॉर्बन मेम्ब्रेन सेपरेशन लिक्विड लिक्विड एक्सट्रैक्शन एब्जॉर्बन आयन एक्सचेंज लिक्विड सॉलिड लिचिंग एंड क्रिस्टलाइजेशन इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स बिगेन आर डिस्कशन विद द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ मास ट्रांसफर ऑपरेशन विच इज इवेपोरेशन Evaporation is a mass transfer where we can achieve the separation of solute from solution on the application of heat as an energy. This applies to all the solute that are non-volatile in nature. An example of evaporation is saturated solution of salt or sugar when heated under control condition we can obtain water and solute that is salt or sugar. Now moving on with the second type of mass transfer which is drying. This mass transfer is widely used in our day-to-day -day lives and chemical industries also. Drying is generally used to remove moisture from the final product that is solid product. The removal of moisture from this product is essential to prevent the material from deteriorating. In simple understanding, when the wet clothes spread on the clothes line are dried as the moisture is absorbed by the surrounding atmosphere. Now the third and one of the most important type of mass transfer operation which is also popularly known as king of operation is distillation so in distillation when we have a mixture of liquids and they have to be separated or we desire to obtain a pure product distillation is carried out here the separation of liquids takes place on the basis of their boiling point difference or more precisely we can say that the difference is the vapor pressure another criteria which governs the separation of liquid in the mixture is relative volatility the concept will be taken in detail when we discuss distillation in detail in the coming series of mass transfer operation the next is the operation that we would discuss is the operation that involves fluid that is absorption this operation is applicable for the separation of components from the gases a liquid solution is been used to remove the component from the gases one of the example of this type of operation is scrubbers which is widely used in each and every industry these are employed with a stream of gases that has to be discarded into the atmosphere to prevent the pollution pollutants are absorbed in the water and the remnant gas is been vented off so the scrubbers which are used in each and every kind of industry works on the principle of absorption where in most of the cases absorption is done in water or in caustic solution we now move ahead with one of the most versatile and upcoming operations which is membrane separation When the separation of solute is required from the fluids it is done by the mechanism of diffusion of this solute from either liquid or gas through a semi permeable membrane it is termed as membrane separation the best and the most common example is reverse osmosis of water treatment in the case of membrane separation there are three type of membranes which is permeable semi permeable and non permeable permeable means the ones that allow solute to pass through completely In case of semi permeable membrane selective allowance of solute is been done as we see it in the case of RO and in the case of non permeable membrane which is just a barrier that does not allow any movement of the solute now the next one we take is liquid liquid extraction which deals with only liquid mixtures this is a mass transfer operation where the solute is a liquid solution and which is removed with the help of another solvent which is relatively immiscible with the parent solution Nextly another mass transfer operation to follow is adsorption a crucial operation adsorption operation is a surface phenomena here the components of gas or liquid stream is removed by passing the stream over the surface of the adsorbent on which the particles gets adsorbed if we try to understand this in simple terms the molecule of color or order gets adsorbed when the color water is passed through the bed of activated carbon talking next is the critical operation of mass transfer which involves the movement of substances in an ionic state sometimes when the separation is difficult to happen in its molecular form the removal takes place when the molecules of the compound are in dissociated ions the process is called as ion exchange further ahead we have an operation that involves solid and liquid phases and that is used for a special kind of extraction process which is liquid solid leaching leaching in other words can be known as solid extraction the removal of solute that is present in solid is extracted with the assistance of the liquid that is capable of dissolving the solute an example of leaching is that extraction of sugar from beetroot with the help of hot water
Now last but not the least, we glance over a mass transfer process that involves the separation of solute in crystal forms, which is crystallization. The process of crystallization is concerned with the removal of a solute such as salts from the solution by precipitating the solute from the solution. The prime requirement for this process of crystallization is that solution should be supersaturated. The main steps of crystallization are nucleation, growth of crystal and separation of crystals. The topic of crystallization will be discussed in detail in the upcoming series of mass transfer operation. So guys that's all for this video where in this video we discussed about many of the mass transfer operation which were evaporation, drying, distillation, absorption, membrane separation, liquid liquid extraction, adsorption, ion exchange, liquid solid leaching and at the end we discussed about crystallization. All the type of mass transfer operation were discussed very briefly in this video. This was just a brief video for the identification of types of mass transfer operation. Each and every type of mass transfer operation will be discussed in detail in upcoming videos. And guys, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. As always, feel very free to leave any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.